Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the science class. Today, we continue our discussion on chapter one, that is crop production and management. Today, we, we will discuss the questions and answers. The first question, select the correct word from the following list and fill in the blanks. Float, water, crop, nutrients, preparation. The same kind of plants grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place is called the dash. Answer is crop. The first step before growing crops is the dash of the soil, preparation of the soil. Damaged seeds food dash on the top of the water, float on the top of the water. For growing a crop, sufficient sunlight and dash and dash from the soil are essential. Water and nutrients from the soil are essential. Match the items in column A with those in column B. This is, these are the questions. The answers. Karif crops, paddy and maize, ravi crops, wheat, gram P, chemical fertilizers, urea and superphosphate, organic manure, animal excreta, cow dung, urine and plant waste. Give two examples of each. Karif crop, ravi crops. The Examples of curry crops, paddy, maize, and groundnut. For ravi crops, wheat, pea, and mustard. Write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following. Preparation of soil, sowing, weeding, threshing. Short note on preparation of soil. Preparation of the soil is the first step in agriculture. It is done to loosen the soil, which is essential for the root penetration into the soil. This allows the roots to breathe easily and loosening of the soil allows the growth of earthworms and microorganisms which will help to keep the soil fertile by adding humus to the soil. Loosening of soil also brings nutrient-rich soil to the top layer which is essential for the growth of plants. Short note on sowing. Sowing is an important process in crop production. First, healthy seeds are selected before sowing. After selecting healthy seeds, sowing is done by either traditional methods or by using equipment like seed drill. So note on weeding. Removal of unnecessary plants on the field is called weeding. Weeds com compete with the crop plants for nutrients and water. This will reduce the yield of the desired crops and weeds also interfere while harvesting and gets mixed with the crops. Some weeds are poisonous to animals and humans. Tilling is a common method which helps removal of weeds before sowing crops. The manual methods like physical removal of plants are used to remove weeds. Example, kurpi and seed drill. Then weed seeds are sprayed to get rid of weeds, but this method may affect the health of farmers because of the chemicals used as weed seeds. Show note on threshing. The process of separating the chaff from the crop is known as threshing. Threshing is carried by a machine called combine, which is a harvester as well as a thresher. Threshing is also done by winnowing, where to blow off wind is used to separate the chaff from the crops. The difference between fertilizers and manure. Fertilizers, fertilizer is an inorganic substance, manure is an organic substance. Fertilizers are prepared artificially. Manure is obtained by decomposition of animal, plant, and human waste. Fertilizers are prepared in factories. Fertil manure is prepared in fields. Fertilizer does not provide humus to the soil. Manure, provide, manure provides humus to the soil. Fertilizers are rich in plant nutrients. Manures are relatively less plant nutrients. The long-term usage of fertilizer has adverse effects on soil. Long-term usage of manure improves soil fertility. What is irrigation? Describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water. The supply of water to crops at regular intervals is called irrigation. The two methods of irrigation which conserve water are drip irrigation and sprinkler irrigation. The drip irrigation. Here the water falls drop by drop directly at the position of roots and this method is very useful as it conserves the water and does not waste water. It also helps in avoiding weeds since the weeds does not get water. It is a boon in regions where availability of water is poor. The sprinkler system. 
This method is in use in mainly uneven land where sufficient water is not available. The perpendicular pipe is having rotating nozzles on top are joined to the main pipeline at regular intervals. When water is allowed to flow through the main pipe under pressure with the help of a pump, it escapes from the rotating nozzles. It gets sprinkled on the crop as if it is raining. It is very useful in sandy soil. Question number seven. If wheat is sown in the Karif season, what would happen? Discuss. Wheat is a rabi crop. Wheat seeds need low temperature and humidity to grow. If they are sown in Karif season, that is rainy season, the seeds would get destroyed due to excess of water. It would not grow. Hence, it is not wise idea to grow wheat in Karif season. Explain how soil gets affected by the continuous plantation of crops in the field. Continuous plantation of crops makes soil infertile as the plants absorb the nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, etc. This results in the decrease of yield. Hence, there, would, there should be a gap between crops or crop rotation is needed to get a good yield. Question number 9. What are weeds? How can we control them? In a field, many other undesirable plants may grow naturally along with the crop. These undesirable plants are called weeds. The removal of weeds is called weeding. We can control the weeds in the following ways. Manual removal, tilling or plowing, chemical methods. Manual methods include physical removal of weeds by uprooting or cutting them close to the ground from time to time. This is done with the help of a kurpi or a harrow. Tilling or plowing. Tilling before sowing or crops helps in uprooting and killing of weeds, which may then dry up and get mixed with the soil. Chemical methods. Weeds are also controlled by using certain chemicals called weedicides. Example, 2,4-D weedicides are sprayed in the field with a sprayer. Question number 10. Arrange the following boxes in proper order to make a flowchart of sugarcane crop production. Sending crop to factory, irrigation, harvesting, sowing, preparation of soil, plowing field, manuring. This is not, this is not a correct order. This is the correct order. Plowing the field then preparation of soil, then sowing, then manuring, then irrigation, then harvesting, then sending crop to the sugar factory. Dear students, this is all for today's class. The next class, we will discuss the remaining questions. Till then, bye, take care, thank you.